disturbing video appears to show staff members violently abusing patients with disabilities at a care center in Rancho Cucamonga. Tonight, the facility has been shut down and two of those workers are under arrest. KCAL 9's Erica Nochlin is live in Rancho Cucamonga with this video that is very hard to watch, Erica. Elsa, it is pretty tough to watch, but it is very important to this case. It is the key evidence because police say the adults with disabilities who were allegedly abused and neglected here at this facility are not able to communicate what happened themselves. It starts with a shove. A woman appears to push a man with disabilities down to the ground and hit him at annular home in Rancho Cucamonga. Then she comes back and beats him again. Police released this security footage dated June 2014, along with this one from September of last year, showing another woman pushing and shoving a man at the group home as he walks in circles. Police say the women in the video are Marceline Sayotang and Rosalina Sayotang, who work at the facility. Marceline calls herself the founder of the parent company, Signature Care, on on her LinkedIn page. Police arrested them both on Friday. There are these people that can't take care of themselves, which is why they're in this facility, so that somebody else can provide care. And they're being taken advantage of. They're being abused. They're being neglected. They're not being cared for. And it's really sad. The women have since bailed out of jail. I tried reaching each of them, one in Rancho Cucamonga, the other in Fontana, but no one would open the door. We did talk with neighbors of both women who said they're both mothers of young kids. That is crazy. I did not expect that from her. That's really shocking. That's pretty yeah, crazy. That's wow. Surprising. My wife was thinking about asking her to drop off the, my daughter to school, but we're going to reconsider that. And there are other incidents. An online state inspection report from a visit to Annular 12 days ago shows an inspector observed client number one that had bruising around client's eyes. It went on to say Marceline Sayotang told the inspector the client had self-inflicted the bruising. Another inspection report, this one from September, found hygiene supplies used by the clients were stained and had been contaminated. But now the problems appear to be much worse and the facility is shut down while under investigation. And police say a former employee prompted this investigation, reporting some of these problems. Now police are worried there are more victims and are asking anyone with information to come forward. Susie, back to you.